Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. If you guys haven't realized why everyone's running around with their phones on the street getting hit by cars, Pokemon Go just launched. And even though it's crashed like three times since it launched, it is like one of the best ways to ruin your life this summer. If you have absolutely no idea what's going on, Pokemon Go is an augmented reality Pokemon game. So it's a really good excuse if you have been playing Pokemon for a while or you don't want to buy a Nintendo device just to use your phone download it on the iTunes or the Android store and it's pretty self-explanatory like you find new Pokemon by walking around on the street like it uses map locations for Pokemon so like right outside my apartment at the cross street there are like a couple Pokemon just there randomly so instead of using other Pokemon to fight them like to capture them like you traditionally would in Pokemon you actually just throw the ball at them you just like swipe your thumb on your phone it's kind of buggy right now but there are certain types of locations tied to certain types of Pokemon like if you go near a body of water there's supposed to be more water Pokemon if you run into another random Pokemon person on the street you can't fight them unless you're in a gym like you can't just do it anywhere the things that are really important in addition to having the phone it's actually like the gameplay is relatively simple once you get the the thumb swiping down like there's a target that appears when you're trying to catch one it's just a basic data connection with access to GPS it's kind of like if Google Maps had a baby with a Pokemon game that's kind of what the augmented reality looks like so it's a really good excuse to tell your friends that you're totally going outside to exercise when you're really looking for Pokemon but you actually do have to run around because there aren't any really good websites that have started tracking really specific Pokemon locations. Really like the fastest way you could possibly go around would be to get on like a motorcycle. Something really agile like a bicycle. But you can walk around too. Like even just like around my block, around my apartment. There are still a lot of regular Pokemon. But if you're looking for rares or legendaries, you're probably going to have to go for a bit of a hike. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on today. Like there's a whole lot of really serious stuff going on today. So if you're looking for like a really fun way to distract yourself or just destroy your free time this summer, Pokemon Go is a completely acceptable way to embarrass yourself by tripping in the middle of the street when nothing is nearby. The game's still pretty fresh, so servers are getting really pounded. Like, it just launched most places around the world, so of course servers are going to be down every once in a while. So don't be surprised if you try to log in and it gives you the middle finger. Just try back again in a little while. I'm not really planning on doing gameplay videos or anything like that for it, just because there's no real good screen capture apps for your phone that don't involve walking around with a giant rig on your back. That would be even more embarrassing. More embarrassing than bumping into your adult friends trying to catch Pokemon in the middle of the day when you should be at work. But let me know if you guys have any funny stories about Pokemon being at your workplace or like somewhere where you go or a gym being nearby with a bunch of just random people trying to come in and catch them. There was actually a police station in Australia that had a Pokemon nearby. People kept coming into the police station. So like the police chief had to come out and be like, dude, people, you do not have to come inside the police station to catch the Pokemon. So give me all your ridiculous Pokemon Go stories. Thanos collecting the Infinity Gems, really just looking for super rare legendary Pokemon. The Flash Season 4 Pokemon Multiverse Edition. Last episode ends with Barry getting trapped in his own Pokeball by the Reverse Flash. And what I've actually found out is that you don't actually need to be like right on top of the location. You just need to be nearby it. So like you don't have to be standing right on top of the Pokemon to try and catch it. So like I live a couple stories up in my apartment. I didn't have to go outside my apartment to try and catch the Pokemon that were on my street. The game itself is free to play, but there are in-app purchases for like incense for helping you catch them, lucky eggs, egg incubators, lure modules. So there are things that you can buy with money to help you catch Pokemon. But I would recommend you try doing it with that. Like I don't recommend people spend a lot of money inside apps. That's one of the pitfalls of free apps. Like if you've ever seen the freemium gaming episode of South Park, that's like a really good cautionary tale. That in the cock magic episode, that's basically what's happening today. Hardcore dude shit is happening with Pokemon on the street, but it's also freemium, making you wonder if the Canadian devil works at Pokemon. But Pokemon itself is pretty fun. The, like the last big interaction I had with the franchise was on my Game Boy Advance. So it was a long time ago. I haven't really kept up with the cartoons. Really like the video games were my point of access. But since I've been making YouTube videos, I've kind of been on a soft band of Nintendo products just because I don't really like their policies with the way they treat Nintendo content on YouTube. So this is just like a really fun game to play that does not require that you buy additional hardware. But if you really want to, like of course there's like an add-on that you can buy. There's a Bluetooth Pokemon Go Plus that just helps let you know when Pokemon stuff is nearby or when stuff is going on. But you don't have to buy that to play the game. Like you can literally download the app right now and play on your phone. So I would recommend you at least try it out like a little bit. It's kind of fun. It is a totally acceptable way to make a fool of yourself today. 
But what's going to happen later tonight when I'm not busy making an idiot of myself out on the street is I'll be posting a new Game of Thrones Q&A, so be sure to subscribe to get that. There's a giveaway going on right now. I'll announce the winner when I post that, so that should be up later tonight. While you guys wait for my next video to post, you can click here to learn what's going on behind the scenes on Spider-Man Homecoming, and you can click here for my Thor Ragnarok behind the scenes video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.